Last week, I watched the Hornets' first game of their NBA season, and I saw this rookie play. And, well, this rookie scored 27 points, but not only did he score 27 points, but he set a franchise record in his debut game, and he became the first Indian Pacers player to score at least 25 points, 5 rebounds, and with 5 three-pointers in a game since Jamal Tinsley. So, you know, I looked at this player, and I continued just to study his games and see how good of a player he really is. And, well, after four games already in this NBA season, it's kind of really good to say that Coors Duarte looks like a player who can still end up being a really great prospect in the NBA. What's up, you guys? This is Jay Young on 2 back with another video. And in this video today, we're going to be discussing Chris Dorche. But before this video begins, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more basketball content every week. Let's get into it. Chris Dorte is the oldest prospect in this entire NBA draft. As a matter of fact, he's at the age of 24 years old. So that makes him, you know, a very polished player already. And in this case, he's just about to hit his ceiling. The NBA player, though, when they hit their prime, they run the age of 26 years old and he's 24 years old. So he still has some time to grow, but we are really seeing what we get out of his game and style of play right now. And what I can say right now, coming into the NBA draft, this guy really is the most talented player in this class right now. When we look at the other guys who have been drafted, of course, they're much younger, a lot more younger than he is. But he's had more time to grow and develop his game. So that's why he's such a good player off the gate right now. And when I look at his game and the way he plays, well, one thing that obviously just stems out to me is that this guy is a scoring machine he's a great scorer he really doesn't have a significant weakness on the offensive side of the basketball court you know he's a great shooter he's a great cutter he's a great coming off the pick and roll and even when he was in the summer league his game was very efficient but now being in the nba he's shooting you know his field goal percentages is kind of dropped i remember the other night against the miami heat he shot six of 21 from the field so he's definitely got to work on taking better shots but he's a great shot creator as well you know, he likes to shoot off dribble. He likes to step back, similar to like Chris Paul. And I mean, when you look at his stats right now in just the four games he's played in the NBA season, he's averaging 20 points per game, 41.2% from the field. He's 44% from the three-point line. He's also averaging two steals, and he's averaging just about five rebounds per game. So looking at his numbers right now, they are pretty good. And for this Indiana Pacers team, you know, the Indiana Pacers are trying to, you know, build a roster that is good to contend and compete now. And they made a perfect selection in getting him in the NBA draft. Of course, he's the 13th pick. So, you know, when we're really looking at the 13th pick of any NBA draft, that guy always has a lot of still expectation on him because of how good of a player always comes out of that 13th pick in the nba draft but the indiana pacers are definitely giving him the go to shoot and to really just play his style of game and they've given him a lot of touches to develop and grow his game still you know he's still not really good really at playing against a really good defenders because he's not really the most athletic player in the nba draft or any in any way impossible but he's still you know decent sometimes he settles up for the mid-range shot when he's getting guarded by tough defenders or you know when he's guarding guys on the defensive end of the basketball court he has trouble really staying against much faster opponents than him which is a part of his game that is going to have to grow over time but hey you can only do so much about him being a better athlete in general but right now he is definitely leading the boards when it comes to possibly winning rookie of the year this season you know, in his debut game, he definitely showed out and he is continuously playing still at a very high level. I mean, he has the potential to still be a great playmaker. He's shown that ability. He's obviously going to be a great scorer and really one of the best shooters in this NBA draft as well. And just his game is just so polished overall already for, you know, his age, you know, especially. So, you know, when I look at his ceiling and the type of player that he can possibly become, He's really showing you what he can be right now. And, you know, he can grow a little bit more. He can possibly be just a star level player one day and probably the leading scorer for this Indiana Pacers team. But at best, that's going to be as high as he goes. I don't believe that he's going to reach the talent levels of a guy like Cade Cunningham or a guy like Jalen Green or like even Scotty Barnes. None of these guys because, well, out of the gate, those guys, they're really good already as well. 
but they still got room to grow and their potential and ceiling as i said earlier in this video is way higher than chris duarte's potential but overall chris duarte is a very very good player and he's going to help this indiana pacers compete now especially because that's what they are really known for not really rebuilding but always trying to compete and win out they try to do it ever since paul george left too as well there's not really much that i can really say because well this is still the beginning of the nba season and there's still so much more things to happen and come in for chris duarte as well and his development of his game but i hope you guys enjoyed this brief video today don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more basketball content each and every single week the pacers man y'all did pretty good this season peace